Hello everyone, I'm Ensob64. Hello, I'm FTA. And welcome, after nine months, to the Sonic CD playthrough. Hooray! Gareth, why is it taking so long to start this? Because I despise you. Pretty much. We got back together <laughs> specifically just to record CD and maybe three and Knuckles, but not two. Oh. Now, I know you like two. I don't particularly care for it, but we'll get to that. I don't care for this game, so why are we doing it? Well... It's overrated in my eyes, Gareth, but we have to do it because it's also a good game in its own right. It's not a bad game, but most fan circles, especially sites like Sonic Retro, completely love this game. And, you know, we're not saying that this game is bad or unplayable. Neither of us can just see why it gets the amount of love and praise it does. I think this intro has a lot to do with why it's liked so much. And I know that's a really shadow reason, but I can't see any other reason for it. it. It's kind of like Unleashed, the, the quality of this intro... Kind of like the game itself never reaches, like the amount of awesome this intro is. Yeah, Tundra Boy and Ron are trying to make faces at me, but you won't disrupt my commentary. Oh no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Now you may actually recognise this animation style from the OVA. It's, it's, it's the same company, like it's, it's a slightly different design, but yeah, it's, it's, it was the same company. I like the fact that whenever Sonic's hands aren't moving, his hands are just a big circle. <laughs> yeah, which is something they fixed for the OVA. And also, I think something we should comment on the biggest difference. In the uh, in Sonic CD is of course the soundtrack. Uh, mm -hmm. Japan and Europe got one soundtrack performed by a uh, um, Sonic Team Japan, and of course the American version got their own remix. Um, Tom, you prefer the American version, don't you? The soundtrack. This is the version we're using for the playthrough. Yeah. What you hear now is uh, the intro version of Sonic Boom performed by Pastiche. The uh, Japanese and European version has a song called Sonic. You can do anything. Or most people just you know, refer to it as Toot Toot Sonic Warrior. And now you know where it came from. And no one is half the battle. G.I. <laughs> Joe! Interesting fact before we actually start the gameplay. Um, the OVA was me and Gareth's first commentary. And this is our latest. This is our last commentary. <laughs> <laughs> the very last commentary. <laughs> Palm Tree Panic trope name on tvtropes.com. What, for panics that involve palm trees? No, I, th I think... It it, it's just like a first level in a game that looks like this, which isn't Green Hill Zone. Yeah, kind of like a tropical woods yeah, type yeah, feel. Yeah. No, I have to admit, I never owned a Mega CD, as we call it here in the UK as Nobody a child. Nobody I knew in the world <laughs> owned a Mega CD. So the first time me playing this was actually on the PST version of uh, Gems Collection. Same here, yep, same here. And it's funny, because I actually owned a 32X, but I never owned a Mega CD. You had a 32X? You had a 32X? <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's awesome. I love this, how you look up at the part of the... <laughs> Well, you know, when I'm recording, I try to think ahead. I will say, the one one thing I really love about CD is that when you touch one of those hands, you get the awesome future, mm -hmm. past. That's the gimmick for this game. There's uh, past, present, and future. Uh, when you go to the past, you have to destroy these robot machines, which will affect things in the future, such as how many bandits there will be. I don't think there will be any bandits if you destroy yeah, if those you machines. Get, if you get, if you get put, you basically, if, if you go to the past of every level, there's a uh, robot... Generator to try. And also, as you've seen here, there's a machine which shows you our metal sonic stamping on animals. <laughs> those, those aren't necessary to complete the game, but if you destroy them, more animals appear in the good future of every single um, zone. I think I only get one or two of those. Oh, yeah, as I said, they aren't needed. Also, the um, in, in, in the replacement of the care symbols in this game, there's the time stones. Now, if you collect every single time stone, you get the good ending, but also you can actually completely ignore the time stones and just destroy the robot generators, as we're going to see. Tom do here after he runs away from that little robot. Well, I'm a little bitch. What do you expect? <laughs> if you destroy that in, in um in the past of every act one and two of every zone, you will get a good ending. So the time stones aren't actually necessary to complete this game, which is actually a feature I really like because I can't stand these special stages in this game. Mm. I think they're a little bit cheap, to be honest. They complete. They, they make no sense and they're cheap. Well, the way you see here is this is the uh this is the um distinction between going no, not sorry the transition from going to the past into the present. I know that the uh. See, this is what happens, you get messed up in the gameplay. <laughs> yeah. What was that back there? The super peel-out? The super peel-out is awesome. It's, um, you know, it, it, I think most people might recognise that from Brawl. Sonic Run Animation. There's Amy Rose! Oh, no, get away from me! <laughs> you crazy bitch! Of course, there's um, Amy Rose's first game. Of course, she was called Princess Sally in the American um, instruction manual. Mm -hmm. She that Sonic made a good future. <laughs> good job! Look at it, he's congratulating you via side post. <laughs> uh, Tom, would you, uh, do, do you enjoy Palm Tree Panic? Do you think this is a good... It's a good opening stage, yeah. Definitely sets the tone. Uh, here, it's a special stage where you have to run and destroy UFOs. Like, to me, it just makes no sense. And Earth's in the background for no adequately explained reason. Well, surely that's Morbius, because at the moment we're on the uh, little planet. It, is it ever explicitly said that it's Morbius? 
Well, well of course, in, in America it was, in Japan, that would just be Earth. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I have nothing to say about space, <laughs> but they're just, I just, you know, especially stepping on water takes your time down. You have to destroy all of them in a certain amount of time to get the stone. I would have much preferred a level using this rather, uh-huh. than, rather than just, you know, a special stage. But To sum it up, you destroy UFOs, spinny things shoot you across, water actually lowers your time, so you want to stay out of that. We kept the time zone. So, um, in this game, Tom, are you getting all the time zones? All the time stones, all the robot machines, yep. Hooray! It's funny because in Sonic the Comic, it was an egg, the time stone. Yeah! Just, just an egg. I love the yeah, idea. The, the, uh, as you see, uh, adaptation of this was called the Son of Terminator. Five issues of pure brilliance. Hmm. Is that by uh, Nigel Kitchen? I would imagine so. Nigel Kitchen and uh, Richard Elson were finding the art. They do the best strips in Sonic the Comic. They did. I mean, there's a lot of other good strips, but they're the best. <laughs> now, actually trying to get into the past or future itself is kind of a puzzle, because your time stream, as it were, will disappear if you like go too fast and then suddenly stop. Yeah. So you need to keep be like constantly going. There was a recent interview with the uh, main producer of this, because uh, we should say um, Sonic City and Sonic 2 were actually being programmed at the same time. Sonic City was being made in um, Japan, and Sonic 2 was being made in um, uh, San Francisco with Sonic Team USA. The original plan was that Sonic CD came out first, but of course Tales of um, Sonic 2 came out before um, CD did. And also, one of the main producers said that in the transitions from going to either the past to the present or the future to the past, you had that little loading screen of Sonic going up and spinning around, the green background. Uh-huh. The original idea was to it just you, you just suddenly just appear in, in the future or the past, like in Back to the Future. <laughs> but um, he said that the, the programming they could never get the code to work and they always said that if Yuji Naka had been working on this game he would have been able to get it done and uh, due to development times this is why the uh, spin attack actually looks a bit like a prototype even though this game came out after Sonic 2 oh yeah yeah. the, the spin dash doesn't work as well as it does in, um, in 2 I think the best way to describe it would be it has a bit of a delay a bit of a delay full extra 2 seconds I think I will say the um, while it, in terms of the music, I, I I don't favor one over the other completely. I think certain tracks on the American version are better than the Japanese version. Mm. Certain tracks on the Japanese version American, but I do love the the sound of when you when you get the Invincible in the American version. Very mm, rocking. This sounds. A lot, a lot of the tracks were quite amazing in this. Just pretend that you're actually hearing it, because if we had it on, it would overpower the comments. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, at the moment we can't hear. Any of the music. Mm. And if you get a good future in, I think it's either stage one or two. No, you need both. If ah. you get, if, yeah, if you get, a, if you get a good future in, in Act One and Two, then um, Act Three will take place in the good future of that. Well, automatically. Automatically, because if you don't, it takes place in the in the bad future. Mm. It has other certain things that it will cause, like making a pink robot, Nick. Now, one thing I have to say is that the the bosses in Sonic CD are mind-numbingly easy and boring. Probably in the entire series. Yeah, but yeah probably some of the, the worst bosses in the entire franchise. They're so pathetically easy. I mean, especially like the big, the big fight everyone was looking forward to, you know, Metal Sonic. I, I've saved that before we get there, but that's a massive letdown. <laughs> Hooray, we finished part one. Please join us next time for the Collision Chaos Zone. See you then. Goodbye! <laughs>